So do you really want to know what I bought with the check? So, what do you think about my new toy? How do you like my new beer? I kind of trimmed it back a little bit. So, one thing that you guys may not, may or may not know about me is that before I was fishing, I've only had one other job other than pro fishing, and that was a landscape designer. Now, when I was a kid, my dad ran a landscape maintenance company where we cut grass. So, I've done a lot of mowing lawns in my lifetime, picking up sticks, blowing leaves, all of the yard work if this is something that's outside of your home good chance i've done it at some point anything from irrigation trimming shrubs planting shrubs drawing landscapes spreading mulch spreading pine needles cutting down trees planting trees you name it if it's been outside i've probably done it but so one thing that i decided to buy this year was a brand spanking new zero turn more so i got the x mark e series let's go first cut As usual, I'm kind of particular about my yard, and so I wanted something a little bit better to mow my yard with. You can see it's fall time. We got a little bit of leaf debris in my yard because the leaves are starting to turn finally. Finally starting to get some fall time weather, and the leaves are going from the trees to the grass. So, a few things about this mower. It is a Xmark E-Series, as you can see right here. Laser Z. Um, this is a 52 inch cut brand spanking new. I haven't cut any piece of grass with this just yet. Um, and my lawn is Palisade Zorgia. That's what I put at our house when we built it is Palisade Zorgia. The backyard is a motocross track for this young man right here. This is me, Brevin. Brevin Latimer. Um, love to do some dirt bike riding. That's what I'm basically showing you right now. This is our track that we basically made this year. We left some 2018 turns and 2019 turns. So basically all of these are 2019 turns now. Hey guys, we're at the compound. Um, Brentley is already riding. I'll get ready to ride in a couple seconds. So, and you and you and you will be on my head. to my video. Okay, go ahead. Um, I have some ice in my mouth because I was kind of thirsty and hungry. So, uh, it's in the camera and, uh, so Brilly's already out there. I'm getting ready. Um, I'm getting close. Uh, and it's going to be on my head. You're going to be on my head. So there's actually nothing in the backyard at all. It's just grass. But it comes with a, uh, I think it's a 23 horsepower Kawasaki engine on it. One thing I like about this guy is it actually has a shock seat on it. So you can see, look at the seat. It's kind of bouncy. That's so when you get on that really uneven surface when you're out there mowing, does it's not hard on your back. Pretty sure I'm going to have to have back surgery sooner or later because of all the bumps that I've taken over the years. <laughs> Yeah. 
but it one thing that i did like about it is it didn't have it has like airless tires in the front if you guys ever had a zero turn more you know how the back tires run out of uh air all the time and you're stuck with wop-sided cutting lawnmower wop-sided yes that's what i said pretty good one thing that i really like about this more is that it really really has a soft ride with that suspended seat on it dude it takes out all the bumps in my yard i don't have any back pain at all this time and check it out you can actually set the seat suspension to your weight so i weigh about 155 pounds so all i have to do is turn this dial to 155 I'm sure you can see it there nice and springy as i would say it or as we would say it in the fishing industry the spring loaded seat is the game changer of course even though now i'm just a homeowner and not a contractor like i used to be i had to have the contractor grade equipment so the e-series is a little bit of an overload for you guys that are just mowing at home but the thing about it if you get an e-series lawnmower and all you mow is your yard your pasture or you know especially where i live here in the country where we have enormous yards i live on an acre property depending on where you are that's a big property or not a big property this mower is going to last you a very very long time i've put three to four thousand hours on one of these engines and if you're just mowing your yard you're not going to get three or four thousand hours in 20 years mowing with this piece of equipment So a little bit about my choice in grass here. This, like I said, is Palisade Zorgia. The reason I picked Palisade Zorgia is because it's super easy to mow. You can see it doesn't leave any scalp marks. And here in South Carolina, we're in the fall time of the year and it's starting to go dormant. This is a warm season grass, meaning it does a blanket brown during the winter time, which is perfect for me because that's when I'm fishing. I don't have to worry about mowing. I don't want to have to worry about watering or none of that foolishness when I'm out on the trail fishing. So it's super easy to take care of. <laughs> 